Hey guys, welcome to the first week of our brand new series. I wanna start off by giving you a couple of examples of some of my friends back in high school. When I was in high school, I played soccer, I was in some different classes, and in each one of those groups, I had a different group of friends. But in all those groups, I had friends that probably impacted me more than other people. When I was on the soccer team, there were some friends there that worked really hard. And the fact that I was around them made me wanna push myself even more. They were influencing me to wanna work harder. When I was in school, there were some friends that honestly just wanted to sit in the back of the room and laugh and goof off. And there were some days where I allowed that to happen to me as well and I would just wanna hang out with them and just do nothing during class. But there were other classes where I had friends that really studied hard and took class seriously and actually pushed me to wanna to focus more on the class and try to do better. All of these friends had different impacts on me. And if you think of your life, you probably have friends that do the same thing. You probably have friends that push you to work harder on your sports teams. You might have friends or people in your classes that might push you to wanna to work harder in those classes. But you also might have people in your life that might influence you to wanna to goof off a little bit more. That influence you that might wanna make you act a little bit of a different way. All of these people in our life have different impacts on us. But I want you to think about this idea. In the same way that others have an effect on you, you have the same ability to have an effect on other people. And that's why we're starting this new series this week. This whole series is about something that I like to call the you effect. What is the you effect? The you effect is how you affect people and situations around you. You see, it's easy for other people to have an impact on us. But I wanna encourage you guys to think about that the same way people affect you, you can also affect other people and impact other people as well. And really everything that we're talking about is discussing the influence that you have on others and situations around you. So today we're gonna to be talking about a story about Jesus in the book of John. And if you have joined us in our Bible studies on Sunday mornings, you might have heard this story or remember this story from a few months ago. But the whole story is talking about a situation when Jesus was able to miraculously feed 5,000 people. And so Jesus is walking along with his disciples. There's a crowd of people around him, people that just wanted to be around Jesus. And Jesus asked his disciples, what are we gonna do to feed these people? But Jesus was only asking his disciples to test them. And the disciples were looking around, they were thinking, this is gonna cost a lot of money. This is gonna be tough for us to do. How on earth are we gonna be able to feed 5,000 people? And that's where we pick up in the story. And we're gonna be reading uh, from John chapter six, and we're gonna be starting in verse eight, because there's a small section in this story that it might seem insignificant in the moment, but really it has a huge impact on what happens after. So let's pick up in verse eight. It says, another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place and they sat down, about 5,000 men were there. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. So the big thing about this story is that they started off with something small. They only had some loaves of bread, they only had a couple of fish, but Jesus was able to take this and do something miraculous. He was able to feed 5,000 people. Not only did he feed these people, but he gave them more than what they actually needed. He gave them enough to be satisfied in that moment. But I want you to think about one of the characters in this story. You see, in the midst of everything that Jesus was doing, there was a boy there that had five loaves of bread and two fish. This boy had something that might not have seemed like a lot in that moment, but what did he do? He took what he had and he gave it to Jesus and Jesus was able to do something miraculous with it. So this is something that I want you to encourage to think of. In your life, you might not be in a situation where you just have loaves of bread and fish to feed 5,000 people. But I want to encourage you to realize that you have more of an effect on the people and the circumstances around you than you think. 
The moment that you walk into a room, the moment that you have a conversation with someone, you are having a huge impact on their lives. The question is, what kind of impact are you having? Are you having an impact that someone's gonna look at you and they're gonna say, I wanna be more like this person? You see, when we walk into a room or we see a circumstance in front of us, it's easy for us to think that, oh, I can't make a difference. Oh, I don't have anything to contribute here. Or there's nothing that I can do to make an impact on the moment right now. But we have to realize that when we bring what we have to God, and when we ask Jesus to use us with his power, he's able to use us to do miraculous things. It's just a matter of us willing to say, I want to be used by God to make a difference here. So whenever you come across someone or you come across a situation, there's a couple of things that we can do to have a huge effect on that moment. First, we need to identify who is in need in that moment. Who is someone that needs an impact from someone else? Who is someone that could really use help in this circumstance? Second, we need to identify what is the need? What is it that this person wants or needs? What is it that's gonna actually help in this moment? And third, we need to be able to identify what is it that I can do in this moment right here? And what am I gonna do to actually make a difference? You see, part of it is identifying what is the need, but the other part is actually being willing to act on it. This boy could have sat there with his loaves of bread and his fish and did nothing. But he took what he had, even if it seemed really small, and he had a huge impact on the moment. What are the small things that you can contribute in your moment or the people around you that is gonna have a huge impact on them? Think about that when we go into small groups.